So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and you have to just open the cloud console incognito window like this and if you are completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now here basically you have to just click on I understand just click on the I understand option and after that you have to just activate the cloud shell so let me show you how you have to activate the cloud shell just click on this i agree and I agree and continue if you get this kind of pop-up now click on the button next to the gemini and it will just activate the cloud shell here basically you have to just click on continue and then authorize yourself now please follow the video as i am doing otherwise if you miss a single step you won't be able to get the score on this lab and badge so just click on now authorize Now wait for the cloud shell to get ready so finally our cloud shell is now ready now if you want to increase the font size you can use the gear icon to increase the text size i will show you if you want now let's come to the lab instructions first of all and here yes like this you can increase the font size now come back to the lab instruction and come to task number one now before task number one we have to clone the demo repo okay so just paste it and we are demo repo basically cloning the policy demo repo so it will take some time so wait for it now once it is successfully cloned we have to just change the directory so run this command to change the directory and then after that we have to run this executable file once it is done we have to just come over here to task number one and export the region and zone basically we are just setting the region and zone in which our cluster or anything whatever we create in this lab will be done so just paste it like this and then after that you have to just make setup project now here you have to just type y and it will automatically start enabling all the apis now if it does not work you have to just hit enter now here many of you may be basically many of you may face some kind of issue i wanted to say that the resources issue i will show you in which part you may face this kind of issue first of all let me move to the next step now here again change the directory basically it is just exporting values like what we have exported okay it's just showing only i just run it and here it will take some time here yes here you have to type y e s and then hit enter now many of you may make mistakes and many of you may face issue what mistake you may make like while typing or y e s you may use capital letters or just add any extra space or while exporting any values you may make some mistakes so you need to take care of it while pasting anything another important thing is that you may face one kind of issue which is common these days and many of you are facing in multiple apps like the basically you are getting error like resources exhausted okay so resources exhausted means the zone is not ready for providing you the task okay the zone is for example it is not available the zone is not available to create a bucket or whether a virtual machine so in that case what you need to do you have to just restart the lab the only solution if you get resource exhausted error here the solution is simple you have to just restart the lab and try again and also report to the quick lab support okay so what this thing i wanted to share because many of you may face issue even i face sometimes so i just made it clear that if you face resource issue that does not mean the solution which i am providing is incorrect that means the resources available on that region is not working so there are two solutions one is you can restart the lab and try in the same region which i have used in this lab that is basically us 1d basically us east 1d you can try in it and if you are facing still issue just restart the lab and if you are facing issue after restarting the lab also in the same region as zone you need to report to the support 
because the solution is working fine i have completed it and many of your my participants have completed too so you can try it now now just wait for this command to execute it it will take some time so wait for it So finally here you can see the task has been completed we did not face any issue in this particular region and zone now come back to the lab instruction and check the score now after that next step we will be initiating all the tasks in the sss session so just copy this okay just copy it and paste on your cloud shell like this and hit enter now here it will take some time to initiate the sss session and if you get any kind of error rerun the command right now just this red one critical action required is not an error here you can see the gk dash demo bastion host is now ready basically the vm is now ready now we have to just install all these things so just run it one by one type y and hit enter now now once it is done again export the auth plugin then just run the source command now after that just run the apply command and if you want to view the pods you can view it also let me show you so here all are running but still many of you may make issue basically may make mistakes sorry for the error you need to just if you are not getting the score then what you need to do you have to just come over here here you can see we have created all these things come above and here you can see container get cluster just run the five number command and finally you can see it is generated the endpoint now just check the score for this particular task you can see we got the score now we have to just access the hello server so just run this command to exit you have to just press ctrl and c button okay ctrl and c button to exit so just do it like this now again run the next command again to exit you have to use ctrl plus c ctrl plus c means ctrl and c button together you have to press right now after that we are restricting the network policy so just run this command after that we have to just check it the logs and after that if you try to see we have to come one more task okay now here just click on ctrl c now just delete it now we have to create a names based version after that we have to if you want to view the logs you can view it now here you won't get the score okay so for that you have to just run this one and after that we'll deploy the app so to exit again use ctrl plus c and then run this command now many times what happens like lab takes time to update the score so you need to wait for some time basically 50 to 60 seconds and after that you will definitely get the score and if you are targeting other skill badges or pre-assessment skill badges or want a master sheet you can check the description box of this video i have shared the video link in the description also the master sheet how to complete it so you can check it out 
now here you can see we completed the lab and we are done with the lab guys do like the video and subscribe the channel if you want to enable this check my progress bar you can check the description